Hey kiddos, I'm back again. We're going to learn some more about holidays in different countries and we're going to learn about Christmas in Italy. This is what the paper looks like. Can you all see it? Christmas in Italy. Italy is that country that looks like a boot. You guys probably aren't sure, but you can look it up with mom. Okay, so, or grandma, or whoever. Italy's version of Santa Claus is called Babbo Natale. Can you say that? Babbo Natale. La Befana is the name of the old woman who delivers the gifts to the children. Babbo Natale is gaining in popularity. Popularity is becoming more popular and gift giving on Christmas Day is becoming even more common. Babbo Natale wears a red cloak with white trim. She delivers presents to children and children's stockings, which are hung in their homes. So Babbo Natale I think is a lady, it sounds like. Hmm, interesting. So some of their family traditions. The Christmas season lasts for three weeks in Italy. Once again, we're getting ripped off of the United States kids. We need longer Christmas. During this time, the children go from home to home and sing Christmas songs. We do that here sometimes. Christmas caroling, have you ever had anybody come carol to your house? A lot of times some churches or Boy Scout groups or things like that, 4-H, they could drive around or walk around the neighborhood and they sing songs and you hear them and open your door and listen. And sometimes you can give them candy or something like that for doing it or you just say thank you. So we do that in the United States too. In Italy, children wait until January 6th to open their presents. Ugh, well that kind of stinks. That's kind of a long wait. Christmas is a very religious holiday for people in Italy. Most families celebrate Christmas by attending and getting involved in their church. That's a nice thing. Church is a good thing for people. So, what they like to eat. They have... A cake so right here it says some fun facts when Italians return from church they might have a slice of Italian Christmas cake called panettone which is dry spongy fruit cake I have a picture of panettone this is a panettone have you guys ever had fruit cake I have sometimes it's good sometimes it's not it kind of depends on who makes it ours is very heavy and very uh, dense here but in Italy I guess it's dry and spongy but it doesn't look so bad I think I would try it I think I might like it um, another thing they like to eat is called panforte this is panforte panforte is another type of fruitcake that is very dense and thick and it's made with nuts and honey See, now that one I think looks really yummy. I think I'd want to try that one because it's got powdered sugar all over the outside. It looks really good. They also like to eat something called tarone. And tarone is a candy. We make fudge. They make tarone. Tarone is a nougat. Do you know what nougat is? Have you ever had a Milky Way bar? You know that gooey, chewy inside in the Milky Way bar? That's nougat. So it's a nougat, and this nougat has nuts, and it's made with hun made with orange and honey. So it's kind of honey, nut, and orange. That sounds really tasty to me. I don't know about you guys, but I would eat that. The other things they like to have is baked pasta. That would be like lasagna or things like that. And they like fish. They like to eat seafood at Christmas time, which Miss Laura would love because I'd eat anything that swims. So some of the other really cool things, fun facts. Um, the Christmas celebrations start eight days before Christmas with special prayers and church services. Some families have a crepo or Yule log. You know what that is? It's a special log that they burn. It's a big one and they burn it every night, every day until Christmas. They burn it throughout the whole season of Christmas. So that's pretty cool too. So I think Italy was pretty neat. Let's see what we remember. Let's see what we remember, what we learned. 
where I don't remember reading this. Oh, that's because I forgot to read some of the family traditions. Let's read some more. Uh, some of the other family traditions. Um, huh, it doesn't actually ask this question, but I guess they say they want to know where their stockings are hung. I'm guessing it'll be by the fireplace where they're burning the Yule log, but they didn't have that in the story, so I don't know. How long does the Christmas season last? Once again, this is one of the ones where we were getting ripped off. Do you remember? It lasts for how many weeks do you think? One, two, or three weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks they get to have Christmas. Do you remember what panettone is? And do you remember when the families eat it? That was the one where Miss Laura said some people make it yummy and some people don't. Yeah, it's a fruit cake, a dry, spongy fruit cake. And did they eat it Christmas morning or did they eat it when they come home from church? When they come home from church, very good. I like it. And then the second question says, what do Italians eat after they get home from church? But it already said, we already, already asked us that question and we already answered it. Do you remember something else that they like to eat? The one that I said, oh, that'd be really good. I would eat that. It was a weird name, but it was like a Milky Way bar. It was called Tarone. And it was a orange nutty nougat which is a chewy yummy stuff candy hmm. we'd like that okay guys well that's all i can tell you about christmas in italy and i hope you had fun learning about it and i'll be back with some more we're learning about lots of countries bye